Welcome to Tom Strong Reviews. In this video, I'm going to cover Digi Dinos, the singing, roaring, moving dinosaur electronic pets. I have three Digi Dinos in total to make up a full singing choir. At the back, we have a Stegosaurus in the Adventure Placer, with a T Rex in the Habitat Cage Placer, and on its own, we have a Brontosaurus called Max. Let's get them out of the boxes and hear them roar and sing. The Habitat cage playset comes fully assembled apart from this chain link collar that attaches quite simply to the rock in front of the palm tree and cage. So that's now fixed securely and the collar it quite happily fits around the T-Rex. Now he really doesn't mind wearing it because it's actually like a kind of badge of respect because he now looks a lot more ferocious because he needs to be chained down. The T-Rex can come in and out of his cage through the back so there's no actual back cage to this cage so he can come and go as he pleases so he's quite happy in this house and he's got a nice wide bar area so we can sing outside of it and have a good look at see what's going on in the world as it goes by as you can see the chain can be attached to t-rex whilst he's in his cage it's a little bit fiddly to push it through the front as you put t-rex in the back but quite easy for, for nimble fingers to achieve and the chain is long enough for Troy the T-Rex to still be attached to his chain whilst on top of his cage. Now the full adventure playset has a little bit more construction to do where you even need to think, do things like pop the palm tree fronds on top of the actual tree trunk, but it's very, very simple. I'm going to just quickly cover that now. A couple of adventure playset tips. You need to remove the spinning fronds by pulling, pushing together the two green clips underneath it and that allows you to put the green frondy pond in place, the sticker, and supporting the underneath, just to pop it back on again, protects the plastic. Same goes for the volcano. So line up with the holes, the lugs with the holes, and gently push them in one by one, making sure you've got a finger underneath supporting where you're pushing, again, so you don't crack the playset. And there you have all those manger pieces in place. Palm tree goes in. You can optionally use the um, sun bleached skeleton head, or you can leave it with the stickers of an egg nest. And now I like the rock, so I think I'm gonna pop the rock in on top of its sticker. So you're actually covering up stickers here. And just for completeness sake, I'm actually gonna pop the sun bleached skeleton in. But as you can see now, all stickers and all parts are in play. And I really like the fact that the uh, Brontosaurus lily pad, it's like a giant lily pad, isn't it? Spins because of course, Brontosaurus are sometimes in the water and all you can see are their heads. And other times if it's slightly more shallow and he's coming out to uh, to play, he or she's coming out to play and sing, then sometimes, you know, he's, he's climbed up the, uh, the bank a little bit and you can see the Brontosaurus more fully. So I think that's really quite good. Stegosaurus likes its uh, volcano cave. And of course, T-Rex, when he's not running amok, likes to either stand on top of his cage or in the cage, or can stand up the front here. The chain's got, again, plenty of room to, to reach and play in the area. Okay, I've got them all in solo mode. They're happy on their islands. They're roaring and singing. Bit of Frero Jacca. We'll have a sing-song of that later. They obviously like certain songs, and you'll hear various ones, different roars and different songs from these guys. Now this is in solo mode. So solo mode means they can do their own thing and they're not playing together. Confusing when they're different songs, aren't they? <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> Come on T-Rex, sort them out. Be their conductor. I love all the movements. The movements are all different. So the Stegosaurus rocks his head, opens his mouth, and his back plates are going side to side. This guy, his tail moves, as well as his neck and his mouth. 
Stegosaurus has a mouth, a head twist and a tail wiggle. Great little animatronic pets. Digi Dinos have two main modes of play, solo and choir. They've got switches on their necks or their bellies. So let me just twist this one round and up a little bit. So in the middle it's off, to the right is solo, to the left is choir. We'll come to choir later. Now if I start to whistle, he'll try to join in with one of his 55 songs and roars. As you know, Digi Dinos love to sing, so why not join in with this round of Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream Let's see whether we can accompany each other. <whistles> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. <whistles> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. <whistles> <laughs> Why not? Dinosaurs have fun. Brilliant job. Well done, conductor. Getting the Digi Dinos into a choir is as simple as three simple steps. You have to pick which dinosaur is going to be your choir master. I decided it's going to be my Stegosaurus. You turn him on first into choir mode, chorus mode, and he will let you know by some beeps that he's ready by a shake of the head. Now, because no other dinosaurs are on, nobody can reply. Then the second one you turn on, he beeps. Stegosaurus choir master's I'm in charge. He goes, okay. And then the third one. Now, whilst you're doing this, you don't want to make too much noise because the dinosaurs have got to listen. They've got a microphone on one side and they've got the speaker on the other. So they need to be really close to each other when they, when they set up into a choir. So I'm just going to quickly go through all the steps. Choir one first. Shaking his head. Let's us know he's ready to turn the next one. I've got to be quiet from now on. That should be all three in a choir. And that was the choir master telling them which song to sing to show us they're in a choir. Thank you, Steggy. Yes, yes, good roars, good roars. Good. One more for good luck. Lovely bit of classical. Very talented Digi Dinos. Good job, Silverlip.
There are six different styles, but you can see the three different dinosaurs you've got, but they come in different colors. Now they have different names in different countries, but here we have Max the Apatosaurus, Troy the T-Rex and Apollo the Stegosaurus. They're gonna sing us out in a bit, but what we're gonna just do is to quickly go through a few other things. Each of the dinosaurs has three batteries inside their bellies, and there's a small crosshead screwdriver underneath there near the on-off switch where you need to change them. They come with demo batteries, but they last many, many hours and maybe weeks, depending on how much you use them and how long they're singing. These are made by Silverlitz, who also make the singing birds and owls. So you've probably got some friends that have got similar uh, creatures, birds and owls in cages, mostly. I personally prefer the dinosaurs because you can leave them on your windowsill, on your desktop, and they wake up or join in or sing along with you or roar with you. All depends on what you want to do. So that's all I've really got to say now. We're gonna have the dinosaurs sing us out. But for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe and comment. All over the place. <laughs>